Women have read it, what flirting signals do men miss or not pick up on? Sometimes guys can have such a low self-esteem that when a girl flirts with them they have zero clue if you're being sincere. Actually, most guys do pick up on the signals but convince themselves that it's their imagination. No way can she be interested in me. She said she likes my shirt. Must only be my shirt then or even when the guys have acted on the signals only to be flat out rejected, hard. Shit's tough man. My current so did not notice we were going on dates. We, went swing dancing for four hours went to a yoga class and followed it up with Malt's watercolor painted on my roof at sunset he thought we were just pals being pals until I kissed him. I recently attempted to start a two-person book club. I think this may have been too subtle. I'm just going to say right now that my self-esteem is so low that unless someone directly asks me out I'm probably not going to pick up on any signals. Some of us are dense as can be. Once had a woman over and she asked if I'd go lock the door. I thought she was being weird until I turned around and her clothes were off. Then I got it. I now look for signals. Some that my exes told me afterwards, asterisk if she mentions at any time that she's free or is going to be bored, she wants to spend time with you. It's obvious in hindsight but I was a dumbass asterisk used to tell her friends to walk ahead slash go without her asterisk playful hitting. I missed this fairly obvious one too, see above, dumbass, asterisk starts talking about how shitty most guys are slash being single is annoying asterisk she suddenly had my exact music taste asterisk she is telling me my hour is up and it's $100 for another. In my experience, all of them except for the things that are definitely not signals. I'm looking at you, deli man who assumed my purchasing a half pound of provolone cheese was a come on. I'm my experience all of them short of directly asking them out. It's weird but might just be me. BT when I take a guy's shirt sleeve in my hand and rub it as if trying to check out the material, it's my sad attempt at flirting. Not really their fault if they don't pick up. When my husband and I discussed past relationships he told me how he had a ton of girls who would hang out with him all the time and flirt with him but never ask him out so he figured they weren't really interested in him. I laughed so hard then explained that they were waiting for him to ask him out. He thought about it a bit then agreed that maybe that was possible but how would he know they were interested? After facepalming like five times I explained the hanging out accompanied by flirting was their showing interest. The problem with questions like these is that the answer is almost entirely dependent on context. Eye contact, smiling, laughing at jokes, etc. are very ambiguous and can be interpreted many ways. Most guys are going to default to the safe position, i.e. not flirting, because it can be very very messy for a guy to assume flirtation when there is none and then act on that assumption. A friend of mine once told me, you know that girl is staring at you right. I thought she was but I wasn't sure. It's either that or she's staring at me and she has one hell of a squint. I walked into her place and she just blurted out I'd suck your dick. I laughed it off as a joke. Look. There's been so many times where I've mistakenly thought somebody liked me or was flirting with me, it's fucking embarrassing that there's bound to have been a few times where somebody was actually flirting with me and, despite maybe noticing, I don't respond in fear of embarrassing myself. I hate coming off as a creep at least as much as you hate not being noticed. As a man, I couldn't be able to tell if a woman is interested in me even if she told me, I would just think she's messing with me. Very dense man here. Made friends with the new girl in town that moved into the apartment next door. One day she calls for me to come over and help her out. Thinking she needed help moving furniture or something I obliged. Instead she needed assistance picking out what bikini to wear that weekend. I was asked to sit on the couch for 15 minutes as she modeled various bikini top slash bottom combinations for me. So there I am trying to give this girl my honest opinion while trying to hold back an erection. She didn't undress directly in front of me, there was a wall she used, but in hindsight it was clear as day that she wanted the D, while I was just trying to be nice and help my neighbor. I'll add that she had a breast dog and that her rack was impressive. To this day we remain friends, but are simply neighbors. Over the weekend a girl I was chatting to was getting me to feel her skirt material, asked me to dance, then said I'm gonna go home now. I responded okay, good night. It wasn't until today that I thought, why I'd a minute. 
I once had a girl outright grab my dick and start rubbing and I fucking asked are you sure? Men are not smart creatures. A few weeks ago, I did my makeup ultra carefully, took all of the suggestions I asked my husband for, that lipstick with this eyeshadow. If you say so, did my hair just the way he likes, put on some enticing lingerie, made some drinks, lounged in front of him, and sat drinking as my hair lost its hold and I got increasingly bored for 7 hours while he played games with his friends online. So, that. To cut a long story short, before my wife and I were dating at all she would send me XX on the end of every single text message. I asked her best friend whether it meant she was interested in me to which I was explained no she does that to all of her friends, turns out they both were crushing on me and hadn't discussed it yet and I then made the best friend jealous. It was a confusing time after that to say the least. When you comment on his manly elbows and how they would be perfect for striking the side of a neck in self-defense. In this thread, the only flirting signals a guy misses and doesn't pick up are all of them. If what I've gathered from this thread and similar threads is true then men never pick up on signals. If that is true then why do women do the exact same things that do not work? You'd think at a point things would change to be more effective. I'm just gonna speak from experience of being a guy. If she comes over after dark for any reason not specifically platonic, like picking stuff up, then she's more than likely down. When you save them from drowning even though they are not actually drowning, but some kid is, only a few feet away and you're on lifeguard duty. As a guy, I'll just say all of them short of stripping and professing attraction. Anything subtler than that and we'll either ignore it, or write it off as just our imagination. Writing for my sister and she says men don't pick up on eye contact and them being nice. So polite human behavior? Yeah I pointed it out to her but I don't think she got it. This made me wanna hug my brother. Does. Does that mean you're flirting with him? Yes. All this thread tells me is that women should lower their expectations of the perceptiveness of men, and that men should be more selective of what female behavior they read into. Wow, your hands are so much bigger than mine. As a man I think I can answer this, at least for myself every single one of them. The few occasions where I ended up in a relationship all started with a very surprised me. I recently had my cousin's daughter randomly come kiss me on the cheek, twice in a day. She's never met me before. Is this a signal? I'm 33 years old. She is 11. On my first date with my so, we went to see an outdoor play and while we sat in the grass I kept sliding my hand over his and he'd stiffen up and move it away. His thought process, oh my god I'm accidentally touching her I don't want to be disrespectful, I wanna hold her hand but I won't push her. Later on, he invited me over for drinks and Stranger Things marathoning. He asked me to spend the night and was surprised when I kissed him while we were cuddling in our underwear in bed. He was just worried about me driving home drunk. Women complain about this kind of stuff all the time, almost as much as we hear about women complaining about guys thinking women like them when they don't, but we're constantly told as men to respect the friendship and don't jump at every little thing but at the same time women flirt as subtlety as possible. Can't have it both ways and expect results e, am in an arbitrary place as I am male but unattractive and never been flirted with. I'm gonna flip the script on this one. I was interested in this girl at work, but wasn't sure if she felt the same. We were hanging out a lot in group settings, and inevitably it ended up just me and her at the end of the night, sharing very personal conversations and long hugs good night. After about six months of this, I was convinced she must be interested and made my move. She was totally blindsided and made it clear she was not at all interested in pursuing a relationship with me. Ouch. We tried to stay friends afterwards, but it's proven to be a bridge too far. So, you never know. Cuddling because I'm cold. Also cooking him dinner. To be fair I'm awful at flirting. According to my fiancé? All of them. Well she's your fiancé now, I guess one of them worked. If I talk about the clothes that I'm wearing. I was talking to a guy I was interested in at work and it was really hot outside he told me I was only hot because I was wearing layers. I opened my shirt and revealed my tank top and said oh, it's just a tank top under this. Doing that is kind of like giving him an invitation to look.